Last week in an interview with Vanity Fair, Chris Hemsworth would reveal that he felt like his next MCU outing should probably be his last. He went on to say, yeah, for sure. I feel like we'd probably have to close the book if I ever did it again. You know what I mean? I feel like it probably warrants that. I feel like it'd probably be the finale, but that's not based on anything anyone's told me or any sort of plans. You have this birth of a hero, the journey of a hero, then the death of a hero. And I don't know, am I at that stage? Who knows? So a lot of Chris Hemsworth potentially speculating or voicing his opinions and dissatisfaction with how the character has been portrayed in the last series of films or the last... And sounds like maybe he's wanting to explore a graceful exit for his character. But for Thor fans, a little bit more hope from that latest interview. In a new interview with Happy Sad Confused, Chris Hemsworth went on to say this. You look at Thor 1 and 2. They are quite similar. Ragnarok and Love and Thunder are also quite similar. I think it's about reinventing it, the actor explains. I've had such unique opportunity with Infinity War and Endgame to do very drastic things with the character. I enjoy that. I like keeping people on their toes. It keeps me on my toes. It keeps me invested. I've said this before, but when it becomes too familiar, I think there's a risk in getting lazy then because I know what I'm doing. I don't know if I'm even invited back, but if I was, I think it would have to be a drastically different version in tone, everything, just for my own sanity. Thor lost his mind in that last one. He's got to figure it out now. Thor Ragnarok was the reinvention Marvel Studios' God of Thunder so desperately needed at the time, putting a comedic spin on the hero that freshened him up in a way that struck a chord with fans and critics alike, or at least most of them. Thor Love and Thunder, on the other hand, continued in the same vein, but Taika Waititi was maybe allowed a little too much freedom, and the sequel ended up being a little overly silly mess at times, For at least for some people. I enjoyed certain moments. I didn't think it was hot garbage or hot trash to the point where I don't want to see Chris Hemsworth continue on as Thor. I definitely want to see him continue on in a different tone, though. This has definitely been my least favorite interpretation of Thor and my least favorite Thor film, but it's not. it wasn't so bad that I just never want to see Thor again. Now, if I had to see Thor again, like in Love and Thunder, and we're just getting more movies like Love and Thunder, then yeah, I would be concerned. But it sounds like Chris Hemsworth himself is dissatisfied about something, whether it was either how his character was portrayed, how the movie turned out, or maybe just the critic and fan reception to the movie. But this also isn't anything new for Chris Hemsworth. I believe around Avengers or maybe Thor The Dark World, Chris Hemsworth was actually wanting to leave the MCU. He was actually getting a little bit tired of his character and found the character of Thor, plain Thor, to be kind of boring. And so around Avengers Age of Ultron, Infinity War, they decided to kind of go back to the drawing board with his character. And they definitely made him funnier. Some people say they made him dumber. And definitely by Thor Love and Thunder, I definitely felt that, uh, to, just being honest, just my opinion, I'm not trying to offend anybody, because I love Thor. I'm a huge fan of Thor. So I definitely want to see the character continue and be given the proper treatment and respect that not only Chris Hemsworth deserves, but the character of Thor as well. And I think that's the best case scenario for movie fans and Marvel fans alike, is if they do kind of reinvent the character even if it's just to say goodbye to him, even if it's just to give him that kind of heroic sacrifice like Iron Man was given, like other heroes have been given, it would be great to see that for Thor. Although I would still be sad to see one of those last familiar faces leave the MCU. It all really depends on Kevin Feige's vision and what he sees fit for that character and for his universe going forward. And I do still trust in Kevin Feige, obviously with Bob Iger taking over and Bob Shapek out of the picture. Maybe that will mean Kevin Feige will get to be a little more hands-on with some of these MCU projects. And so movies like Thor Love and Thunder maybe won't get made. Or who knows, maybe the opposite will happen. But those are just my thoughts on it. What do you guys think? I'm hopeful. I'm not necessarily excited, but I am hopeful. I'm cautiously optimistic that we will get to see Thor again here soon. I certainly think we will see him again eventually. Hopefully it's not by all the way from the Kang Dynasty or Secret Wars. Hopefully we don't have to wait that long. But do you guys think we're going to have to wait that long? Do you think we're done seeing Thor? Maybe Love and Thunder should be it. And what do you take out of these comments? Do you think that he is, in fact, Chris Hemsworth is, in fact, dissatisfied with how Thor Love and Thunder turned out? We were kind of 
speculating that maybe that's how he was feeling and these words, these comments kind of seem to point to that direction. So what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments below as we always love to hear your thoughts and your insight. Hope you all have a wonderful Thanksgiving weekend. And until next time, have a great day.